Hi, my name is Matt Noveski. I am the owner here at Orb Recording Studios in Austin, Texas, and I'm also the bass player for Blue October, and I am a massive Detroit Lions fan. Growing up in Michigan, I have a lot of ties back home and, you know, bands in Detroit. And one band that I've worked with for many years is a band called I Am Dynamite. We actually were recording during the football season, so it was nice to have a band that are also fans just as much as I am, or at least close to what I am, you know, so we could all, you know, cheer together and actually take a break and watch the game. And I wasn't the only one, like, trying to get everybody else excited about it. They were actually genuinely into it. And one thing that we've done in the past is, if you're gonna make me record on game day and I'm gonna miss the game, I've brought every jersey I have and I've made every single one of them wear it on game day. A couple years ago when we played in Green Bay and we hadn't won in Green Bay in forever, we won that game and everybody had a jersey on. That's my house, you gotta play by my rules. We've actually had some pretty big artists come through that are from the area, and Big Sean is definitely one of those artists. So we were introduced and talked a little bit, and super nice guy, and the minute that I mentioned being from the area, his demeanor instantly like just kind of relaxed, you know, and it was, you could just tell there was a pretty cool connection, and he seemed pretty cool, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go there. So I went and got my helmet, and I said, hey, I got Stafford on one side, would you be down to sign the other? And he like just lit up. That kind of made me feel a little bit better about the whole thing. You know, I'm like, see, I'm not the only one, Texas guys. <laughs> I love football, I always have. But when Barry came into the league, that's when I got hooked. That's when I became a super fan. Love Barry Sanders. More than him, him just being the greatest running back of all time, which he is. I don't care what anybody else says. He is the epitome of humility. When a player scores a touchdown and just walks over and hands the ball to the ref, and that's how he does it every single time. And he carries himself the way that he does. Like, I feel like he sort of set the tone and I, I just, I respect him. Blue October, tonight, Royal Oak Music Theater. It's go time. Yeah. This is the album that caught on. I'm really proud of it to this day. My proudest moment was sending one to my parents and they have one hanging up at their house, which is really cool. It went gold and this was presented to us by the record label in New York City when it happened and it was, it was a cool moment. And then it went platinum and this is the platinum version and that's my favorite one right there. That's my kind of my pride and joy. I can't understand it anymore. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dedicate this next song my boy Matt, he's from Michigan, you know, so... Is that a Stafford jersey? Or can you get out of the way whenever I see that? It's a Detroit Lions. Yeah. So this is kind of his home. So I want to dedicate this next song to all of you. This song is called Home. And it's been kind of a tradition for me if it's, you know, whether we're in, you know, Grand Rapids or Detroit, I'll definitely at least drape the jerseys over my, my base cabs or wear the jersey because I'm proud, you know, and I'm proud to be from the area. I'm proud to have grown up in Michigan. There is this sense of kind of community with other Lions fans. Like I have become lifelong friends with other people over us bonding over the team. One of the guitars that's very important to me and very special to me is my Detroit bass. It's this one right here. I had it made by a company here in Austin called Moniker Guitars. 
And I toured with this for a few years, actually. Every time we were in Detroit, of course, this thing was a big hit. I remember playing at the Fillmore and at the end of the show, lifting it up and, and kind of not intentionally, not really thinking about it, but the whole crowd like just going nuts. And then I was like, oh yeah, I know why. <laughs> Meeting other bands or other musicians that I've grown up admiring, that's cool, you know, and we've done that forever and, and we've been really fortunate to play with the Rolling Stones and Kiss and all these bands that you grew up idolizing. But yesterday was kind of my, like, those are rock stars to me, you know. First of all, I'm extremely grateful because it was such a great experience and it was I was just super happy to be there and be in that situation where I could really witness everything like on ground level and see how they interact and what they do and see how, you know, Coach Patricia talks to him and he's working with them and I was I was just super impressed. I thought it was just a positive experience. It was really cool. I love the personalities on the team. I really like witnessing, you know, what the players do and what they're all about, how they give back to the community. A lot of people from the outside and a lot of people that I know and that I'm friends with, they'll give me a hard time because we haven't had success. I, I gotta say, honestly, that really fuels me as a fan and I feel like that fuels a lot of people because when we do win a playoff game or when we win the Super Bowl, which it will happen, it's gonna be just that much more sweet for us than it is for literally any other team in the NFL. To me, to be a Lions fan, it's about loyalty. When you grow up with something and it becomes part of you, it becomes part of who you are and you love it and it becomes something that, that you know, growing up as a kid and watching games with my family to now have my three children and my wife and we watch the games together. It's about carrying something on and it's also about believing in something. I understand the importance of winning and I understand that the, at the end of the day that that's what helps the team grow and that's what grows the fan base and whatnot. But when you're a fan your whole life, when you're a lifelong fan of something, you, you stick with it through the good and the bad and eventually everything works out and that's the idea. And I gotta say that I do see a lot of improvements with the team and I do see a lot of things heading the right direction. You know, and I truly do believe that. That's not blind optimism, that's not blind loyalty. I think that's just loyalty.